Hello everybody and welcome to my Heirloom Organic Vegetable Garden Series for October the 30th. Um, I'm processing uh, my uh, my, spook my spaghetti, uh, zucchini, whatever squash thing that uh, I grew this year, which turned out is actually really tasty. Um, it's not like spaghetti squash and it's not like zucchini. It's, uh, it's in some never, never land of squash. But uh, um, what I've been doing is I've been baking it and freezing it in bags and I've actually got a ton of it frozen. I'm down at the end and I just want to show you uh, what I'm up to and how I managed uh, to process all of this. Uh, which I'm going to have like a ton of spaghetti squash, zucchini, whatever we want to call it, uh, squash. We're just going to call it squash um, uh, in the freezer. So I'm going to give you a shot here of what uh, I did this year to process it so that I can have it frozen and it will last. I figure that because of the amount of moisture in it and the, uh, the way the bags are freezing and everything, probably two, maybe three years in the freezer it's going to last. So I, I'm going to have a lot of squash for a long time. All right, so this is a smaller one, but uh, they have been every color actually guys some of them smelled like pumpkins it was the most bizarre thing and they were like really orange inside um and some were like white some were yellow um it, it was like it was all over the place they were not consistent um in their color or texture another thing too was texture some of them were very pulpy and and, and uh smooth and some of them were very uh, fibrous like like spaghetti squash so basically i just take the big knife cut it in half like this get it uh, so it's like now look at this one it's got a little bit it's more of a whitish zucchini color to it with a little bit of orange to it now some of them were like solid orange some of them were you know solid white uh, it was all over the place but so I'll just take and take the spoon and another thing too is I've been feeding the uh, the uh, uh, the remains here or the the pulp the, the in, inside uh, to the ducks the ducks won't eat the seeds. I, uh, the the, the uh, duck pen is full of uh, seeds, but they're eating the uh, the fiber, the pulp. But they won't touch the uh, the seeds. It's bizarre. I, I I can't figure it out because you know like ducks eat seeds. But when the flock was big, you know when I had you know like 800 or 700 plus birds in the uh, pen, uh, the seeds would disappear. So I don't know if it's just that uh, you know the remaining birds um, uh, left over are picky. I don't know. I just know one thing right now. There is a ton of seeds in the uh, duck pen, so that's how it, easy it is to clean up. But it's like even this had a little bit of a a fiber to it. Like it, you can tell, it's not uh, it's not a smooth texture. So what I've got is you clean them all like that, very basic, and then uh, we're gonna put them on a cookie sheet uh, to bake them. I've got them cut, cleaned out, and we're going to uh, bake them for 50 minutes in a oven at 350 degrees and then I'll uh, carve them out it's pretty simple all right 50 minutes now I'll just let them cool off a little bit and then we'll scrape them out and I'll bag them and this is my last batch I've got a lot done yeah so every one of these have been different like this one's got a, a, um, a really white or yellow, a light yellow color. I've had some that are orange. I've some, yeah, some that look like pumpkin. Uh, they all, uh, <laughs> they're all over the place. There's no consistency in this crossbreed or whatever I came up with, and it doesn't have the um, um, spaghetti squash texture uh, when you cook it. And another thing too I find is if you let it sit, the moisture disappears on it big time. But I've got a ton done already. Like, uh, I don't know, I, I got over 50 pounds. I'll know tomorrow when I'm done, uh, when everything's frozen, I'm done here. Uh, and another thing too I've noticed is this, this uh, browning, that's from the, the sugar because if you eat the edge where it's browned, it's um, it's the sweetest part. Uh, they've, they're, it's just, but it's not on all of them. It's only some of them uh, get the browning because some of them that are the light yellow don't get the browning and the darker yellow get the browning and, and they're sweeter. So, but they all smell like butternut. That's the one thing I will say about, you know, this crossbreed of, you know, whatever, you know, I came up with by crossing a, you know, a zucchini uh, uh, with spaghetti squash. They, they have, definitely have the butternut smell to it. Like this one's really crazy, the, the butternut smell. 
but it's the brown uh, part. I thought I was burning it when I first did some that turned that way, and then I ate, tasted it, and it was very sweet. So uh, that's the sugar that's browning on them, the natural sugar. I know it's really, really high in fiber. Uh, after a you know after supper, uh, a big supper of this the next morning, uh, you know you've eaten something fibrous. Like look at this one here. That's uh, got a lot of sugar. It's almost um, uh, crispy on the edge, and it's not burnt. And you can actually smell the sugar uh, smell. It's just a strange uh, plant, but I've got like a, a ton done. I've uh, I really went at it this year. I've only got maybe I think four or five that I haven't done there in the back room, which I'll eat, uh, you know, I'll just bake them up myself, and, or bake them, I'll just do myself, but bake them up and just eat them. I'm not processing anymore for uh, freezing because I've got like a ton. Uh, tomorrow I'll weigh it all up, but I've got a lot. I've probably got two years worth frozen, actually. I just love the smell of it, though. It's got such a nice smell. It actually smells better than spaghetti squash, actually. It tastes really good, too. I think that's another reason why this year I went so crazy uh, processing it all. I didn't want to lose any after I had some. It tasted so good. I I, th I, I thought I gotta save as much as possible, which I did this year. Uh, this is actually my best year for uh, preserving uh, and uh, freezing up the uh, squash. I, I usually lose a lot. I've actually only guys. I've only lost one uh, out of all the spaghetti squash that I harvest. There was only one that went uh, soft and rotten. And of course. I had to drop it in the back room and it exploded and just sprayed the room in rotten uh, squash. It was disgusting. Of course, the only one that went bad made a mess. So what I do is I mix it up uh, because some of it's got that brown sugar and some of them, you know, because they're the light yellow, uh, don't have the brown sugar. So this way when I freeze it all, at least I get the, uh, you know, try to get the taste a little bit more consistent through it. Or the sugary part, I should say. So I'm not, like, I can't believe how sweet it is. It's really tasty stuff, I'll tell you that much. And it's got a little bit of a, a spaghetti swirl to it. Like you can see uh, a little bit of a, the fiber, but it's not like true spaghetti squash. I'll bag this up and then tomorrow we'll do the big way. All right, this is the uh, the last batch. Like, look at that, I got two shelf full. Um, there is a serious amount. This is a, this is a serious good haul of uh, veggies. I'm really happy with the haul, actually. So this is what I got left. I got six left. I'm not going to uh, package them up. I'm just going to cook them up as I eat them here in the next week or so. But, uh, you know, I only had one that went bad. So that's that's really awesome. Well, I've got a lot of frozen squash. <laughs> I, uh, I hurt my back yesterday uh, lifting nesting boxes in the barn. So I just hurt myself again lifting that box. So let's see... Uh, what we got for weight here 1.8 for the box so that's 82 pounds of frozen squash well i've gotten a squash for two years that's the best haul i've ever done actually actually i've never had a haul of squash usually i have to eat it uh before it goes bad this is the first time i've ever you know took the effort and cooked it all up and uh, bagged it so uh, i'm not going to lose any now i'll go take it to the freezer in the garage now gotta get my freezer in the house empty for the ducks this week well you know considering that this year i uh probably put the least amount of effort into my garden. I scored, I, I don't know how many pounds uh, I got. I'd have to actually go through all the harvest videos and actually see, but I know one thing, my freezers are packed. I've got enough uh, veggies to last me. Minimum 14 months, minimum, probably 15, 16 even actually. I don't think I can get two years, but uh, maybe there might actually be two years worth of veggies on the property now frozen. But I've had a lot of requests from people wanting to see, you know, my, my veggie freezer. Well, <laughs> it's more like veggie freezers. So this is a uh, 24 cubic foot freezer that is jammed right to the top. There's maybe, uh, I think there's about 12 ducks buried in there. Not many. Uh, my other freezer's empty for the ducks uh, for this coming week, but uh, there's like all the vegetables I did, uh, you know, the past month and a half or two months of harvesting. And then there's the uh, freezer downstairs. And this old freezer here is just jammed too. I've got uh, you know, 80 plus pounds of squash, all my corn, and there's some ducks in here. That's about eight ducks in here too. So uh, 
Yeah, I've got uh, a whack of uh, veggies. This old freezer was a score. I paid for it uh, with four ducks. <laughs> it was uh, not a bad investment for four ducks. So other than my parsnips, uh, left, which I'm waiting for some really good, actually I'm probably going to wait till the snow hits because we've, the weather's looking like the next 10 days some really nice weather, so uh, the parsnips have got a while to go yet. Yeah.